It's another edition of the wrap-up show with John Schaefer and Jim Russell. We're presented by Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance. Big news today. We learned that Fernando Tatis Jr. was involved in a minor car accident. We'll get into that in a moment. As always, if you're looking for year-round Padres content, even during the lockout, that's why we're here. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button down below. Look at Jim. He's pointing to it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Like these videos with the thumbs up. And follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer at Jim Russell SD. Let's talk about Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance before we get going. If you have auto, home, renters, or life insurance needs and you're in San Diego, there's only one place to turn. It's to a San Diegan who's a huge Padres fan, Mark Nimitz. If you own an electric vehicle, he's lowered his rates on select electric vehicle models, putting money back in your wallet. He's got over a decade of experience. What separates Mark from the competition is his customer service and his communication. If you support the wrap-up show and you have any insurance needs, make sure to click the link down below. It's right down below for Mark's website. You'll get to his site. He can help you and your family with your insurance needs. And you guys know the drill. All his information is above my head. Phone number and his email address, mnimitz at farmersagent.com. That's mnimitz at farmersagent.com. Make sure when you reach out to him, first thing you say is, I saw you on the wrap-up show with John and Jim, and I need your help. So let them know that we sent you. I like that. All right. Reach out to Mark Nimitz if you have insurance needs. This is what Kevin A.C. wrote in the UT within the last 24 hours. Padres star shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. was involved in a minor accident Sunday in which he escaped with only minor scrapes. According to sources, a report out of the Dominican said the incident involved a motorcycle and that Tatis was transported to a quote-unquote medical center for treatment. People familiar with Tatis' status said he was doing normal activities as of Tuesday. The Padres cannot comment on the status of Tatis or any other players during the Major League Baseball lockout. So first and foremost, Jim, our thoughts with Tatis. Thankfully, he's okay, according to reports. So thankfully, he's he's okay. Because when we both saw this yesterday, or whenever we saw it, we were both like, what happened? What's the circumstance? How is he doing? But it sounds like, Jim, thankfully, Fernando Tatis Jr. is going to be okay. And I think, excuse me, I think the the first report, I don't know who it was, but it was in Spanish. I think it might have been a a reporter in the Dominican Republic. And you sent it to me. And and then when I read it, you know, the first thing you see is accident, like Tatis involved in accident and and, in minor accident. And you're right. Your first thought goes to, oh, my God, is he okay? And then you start, your heart starts racing. You're like, oh, my God, like it did something bad happen to him. Thankfully, it looks like nothing bad happened to him. A couple, you know, scratches or, or minor injuries. And, and so he's fine. Um, but still, whenever you see accident and like star player, and there's the same, you know, in the same sentence, you, you get scared, you freak out a little bit. You know, if you're not, if you're not freaked out or if you're not, you don't get your heart doesn't stop or you don't get scared seeing that your favorite player, the star player of your favorite team, it was involved in a minor accident. You know, it just like that scares you a little bit. And <laughs> thankfully he's okay. Thankfully uh, nothing happened. I, I know this report that you sent me was tweeted out at the time. Mm-hmm. Hours ago, this was a couple of you know, yesterday or whatever it was. And then I checked his, his Instagram page and 12 hours ago, um, from the time you sent me the report yesterday, mm-hmm. he was posting um, videos of him like hiking in the woods. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if that was posted like like it was it was saved on his camera and he decided just to post it, um, or if or it was in real was, time. Right. If that was a real time video that he was taking, hopefully it was a real time video because that to me tells me that everything's yeah. okay. Um, but again, like. It just the timing of it was like, okay, this was reported 14 hours ago. He was Instagramming that he was like hiking in, in like a forest in the, in the Dominican Republic, it looked like. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a scary thing. It's it's something that you never want to see with anybody as any any star player, anything in, in sports. You never want to see player name involved yep. in accident. Like that, you never want to see that, especially yep. with Atis. And the thing is, we have seen it. Unfortunately, we, we've seen it with athletes, obviously, and non-athletes. Accidents happen. I've been involved in them. I'm sure at some point you've been involved in some type of yeah. accident. You, you laugh. You've probably been involved in a number of them. Stupid um, stuff. 
and it's it, it is scary. And first and foremost, all that matters is his overall health. That's first right. and foremost. Then you get it back to what it really does mean, his health in general for the Padres organization, whether it's mm-hmm. his baseball health, his overall health, what he means for this organization. And you cannot take it for granted, his overall impact on the next decade. And of course, the last couple of years, what we've thought about is the injuries he suffered on a baseball field, whether it was the shoulder dislocation that put him on the IL for three stints, whether it was the the back and the oblique in 2019. Mm. What was it even in 2018 in the minors? He lost a half season, right? Sliding into a base. Was it something hand or thumb related, Jim? Do you remember that? It was his hand. So, I mean, he he has had injuries. Now, the the accident has absolutely nothing to do with that. But I'm now taking this back to the field of play. I'm always thinking about Tatis' overall health. I think the only thing that separates Tatis from a career in which he'll be remembered as one of the greats to ever play for the Padres and potentially in the game, maybe a Hall of Fame career, or a statue-type career in San Diego, is his health. And we talked about even earlier this offseason, Jim, before this minor accident that hopefully is absolutely nothing, because a lot of people thought that he should have his shoulder surgically repaired because of the dislocations he suffered over the last 6, 12, I don't even know if it's more than that, maybe even 18 months. He elected not to have the surgery, which is fine. A.J. Preller and the organization were okay with that. But that's always hanging over a season. Health of all players always is. We know that. There's no guarantees. But it does feel as if his health hangs over seasons based on some of the injuries he has suffered previously. Would you agree? Yeah, it just feels that every single year for Tatis individually, the number one question with him is, can he stay healthy? Mm -hmm. Because he hasn't stayed healthy for a full season yet in his young career. It's only been uh, three years. But still, like you said, even dating back to the minors before he got called up, injury, first year, injury, last year, um, injury, 2020, no injury, but again, only 60 games. So, um, yeah, the number one thing with Tatis every single year is, can he stay healthy? Because honestly, if he stayed healthy in 2019, he had as good a chance to win the rookie of the year as Pete Alonso, even though Pete Alonso hit 50 plus homers. Mm -hmm. Um, if he stayed healthy last year, dude's a lock for the MVP. No yep. questions asked. Lock for the MVP. If, um, you know, in 2020 was 2020. But still, those are two seasons that if he stays healthy, he wins major awards or is in the conversation or front runners for major awards. And who knows if he stays fully healthy last year and plays 155 games, maybe the team doesn't have the slide it does. You know, maybe... Him staying healthy and hitting 50-plus homers, because he would have hit 50-plus homers. He could have, yeah. Would have helped this team stay afloat and not go into the massive spiral that it did in the second half. Because once Tatis got injured, was right at the trade deadline. And he was out for three weeks. And in those three weeks, the team looked horrible. They got mm-hmm. no hit. They were, I mean, it was just bad. They're losing to bad teams. And, yep. I, you know, Tatis was, ironically on the IL at the time. So who knows? But again, like you said, the health of Tatis is the number one thing for this franchise. Number like one. the number one thing for this franchise is the health of Fernando Tatis Jr. Because he is signed to a 14-year deal. That's one thing. Number two, he is probably like 1A or 1B as far as people uh, players on this team that are most important. Like you lose Tatis, you lose your your energy you lose one of your leaders you lose your spark plug you lose your mvp you lose all of that and you can't afford to lose that if you expect to go to the postseason and and go to the world series i've got a question for the chat on the other side of this so i've got a question i want answered down below in the chat but we want to tell you about fresh meal plan during this holiday season because we've got a very special offer for our viewers only fresh meal plan 40 dollars off with the link below You want to eat healthier in the new year, maybe even in the holiday season. You just don't have time to cook. We don't. They've got healthy, delicious food delivered to you that cooks in five minutes. It's healthy, it's affordable, and it's $40 off using the link down below for wrap-up show viewers. Fresh meal plan, Jim. We've both used meal plans before. This, again, the difference here is it's easy. Who has time? No one has time. And you want it to be affordable, you get $40 off at the link below. And the best part is, like, it's cooked for you. You don't have to mm-hmm. worry about it. You just basically heat it up. And everything you see on the screen right there, that steak, salmon, salad, couscous, 
asparagus, tomatoes. Mm, Making me hungry. I know. <laughs> you get all that just how it comes. And all you have to do, put it in your fridge, take it out, heat it up, boom. How you doing? There you go. Perfect meal. <laughs> fresh meal plan. Uh, $40 off. I mean, at, at, around the holidays, like you got to buy a bunch of presents for everybody. You're running a little low on money, but you also have to eat good food. So fresh meal plan. We're giving you $40 off your first order. Link is in the description below. Go check it out. Yeah, support You're the wrap-up show again. Yeah, support the wrap-up show again. If, if you have any meal needs, fresh meal plan with that link, as you said, down below. Here's my question for the chat, Jim, and for you. What would you sign up for in terms of games played by Fernando Tatis Jr. in 2022? Like, should I set an over-under at 140? Will you sign up right now for 140? What did he end up playing last year, 130? 130. Is it yeah. 130. So he missed so 32 was, games. Okay, so he missed 32. I mean, he missed, he missed over I, a month. If I told you he would play in 140 games right now, considering everything we know about 2021 and 2019 and 2018, would you take 140? Well, that means he still get injured. I don't think you're giving Tatis 22 games off. Right. Like maybe one stint, maybe one two week stint and another five or six games off. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I would take it, but I don't right, want. What's that. the alternative? Yeah, exactly. I, I, you want I, I what do you want? One one fifty two, one fifty three, one fifty four. I want the one fifties. Yeah. If you're playing in the one fifties, that means that, um, you might like suffer like a something something minor where you only have to miss, miss like two a week, or three days. Yeah. Right, or two or three days, and then you're getting the once one day off every once in a while. And, mm -hmm that adds up to, you know, five or six games here or there. And who knows if the DH is going to be implemented next year. That might be something that yep. would be used to have a day off. So I, I, I want one fifties. Like it, we cannot have, and the Padres cannot afford to have any more years where it's like, well, Tatis injured and you know, is his shoulder and how is that working out? Cause I truly feel that, if Tatis goes through a full 162 game season, fully healthy, and you're, you, there's no way that any player goes through a full season 100, it's just not right. possible. But I'm talking like major injuries where you can't go out there and play. I truly believe if he plays a full season without getting injured, without going on the IL, dude will win the MVP. Like it, that's just who he is. He he can hit 50 home runs. He can steal you 40 bases. He can drive in over 100. You know, his slugging will be in the six fifties. Um, you know, it he'll make he'll he'll make some flashes defensively, and uh, you know, yes, he has to work on that as well because last year's errors were a big problem. I think I think injury had to do a little bit with that. Absolutely, but still, he plays healthy. He plays a full season, one hundred and fifty six games. He's the MVP. Do you think? I mean, is the the outfield experiment? Fully over, or could yeah, his shoulder? Yeah. See, I think so too. Other than the fact that he didn't have the the shoulder like surgically repaired. So, what if twenty twenty two is like twenty twenty one, and he suffers a shoulder injury, and they don't want to shut him down, and they try to protect him? DH. That would be deja vu all over again. I, it didn't seem as if he was thoroughly enjoying his time in the outfield. Although I didn't no. think that had any role in, in his performance no. or the team's no, play. No, but not at all. I mean, he, but he did make it clear he wants to be a shortstop. But mm -hmm. what has to be a part of the equation as well is to be a shortstop. Your shoulders have to be healthy because there's a there's a level of there's a taxing component to playing that position, like all the positions. What did we say pretty much all last year? Let Tatis be Tatis. Free that, Tatis, man. Free Tatis. Like, not saying that um, don't put him in the outfield, but if you do that, like, you have to let him be himself. You mm -hmm. have to let him steal bases. You have to let him, uh, you know, have that uh, flair and, you know, He's crazy have to be able plays, to dive. diving, yeah, I mean, jumping. Yeah. Like, that's who he is. This is what they signed up for. And these are the risks that you take when you sign a guy to a 14 year deal the way Tatis plays the game. I love the way he plays the game. I want him Me to continue too. to play the way that Tatis plays the game. Are you always scared? Absolutely. But the payoff, like the, the risk reward here, the, the reward factor is so high if he's healthy because the way he plays. 
You know, mm -hmm. there's risk there. Absolutely. But the payoff, the reward you get, it's it's MVP level. And he's just beginning to do, you know, like dudes, dudes, early 20s. I mean, he's not even he's not he's like still he's still young in the game of baseball. Yeah, he's 22. Age 23 season is 2022. You've got age 23, 24, 25, 26 season, arguably before his prime. I mean, oftentimes right. in baseball, they say age 27 is the marker year for production. He still has four seasons before that season. So it's his health. It is and, all and about his health. Also, too, doesn't his um, four seasons till his contract bumps up to 30 million a year? Or is it three? It will, it, it, it's right in that neighborhood. That's a great yeah. point. Well, A, it's impacting – his average annual is now impacting the luxury tax number. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what they're allocating right now financially, you're right. Within the next couple of years, that number is going all the way up to what Machado makes a year, mm -hmm. $30 million a year, which puts more of an emphasis on winning now and building around yeah. him, a little bit like a starting quarterback on a rookie deal mm -hmm. in football. Win in front of it because it costs you a lot once they're in their prime. Right, exactly. Like a rookie quarterback, you want to make yeah. sure you get – that rookie quarterback, while he's on that deal, uh, the, the, all the players around him, so you can, you know, you win a Super Bowl, and that's that's what thing is Tatis right now is that his his deal was structured as like a four year forty million dollar deal, and then a ten year thirty million dollar deal, thirty or right, three hundred million dollar deal. Excuse me. So correct. So the last year was the first year of the the four year deal. He has three years left of like a prorated salary until it bumps up to thirty million. Yeah, and that's so, a big number. And of course, unlike football, obviously there's no cap on the on the top side of it, but there is no. because you see the way the Padres have approached this under Peter Seidler this year, and he's spent as, as much as any team, arguably in baseball, maybe other than the Dodgers, but they're not going to blow by it. And it's hard to envision that they blow by, by it in the future unless maybe they start winning World Series. All right, what would you sign up for, chat? Would you sign up for 140? Do you want more like Jim? You want 150 out of Tatis? The good news is, thankfully, Fernando Tatis Jr., reportedly okay after that minor accident. Again, if you're looking for year-round Padres content, you've come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified when we have new videos. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and please follow us on Twitter as well. At John Schaefer, at Jim Russell SD. Until next time, this has been the Wrap-Up Show presented by Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance.